Here's a reach about unnatural habitat, admiring a tall Esmongold from a long distance. <laughs> Riot Games, I need you guys to do something. I am an incredibly strong person, and I've been streaming for a very long time, but absolutely nothing prepares you for someone saying this to you. The suspensions are not enough. Nothing will ever stop these men from acting this way until hardware bans go into play. They should never be able to play the game again. I know you hear us. I know you see us. If this goes unpunished, I am taking this as an active act from you that you do not give a single fuck about any women or minorities playing this game, and I will rally to boycott. But yeah, but yeah, but you are literally just fucking all talk, bro. It's a little bit quiet. Oh, be honest with me. My ult's ready. Do you know what rape feels like? What? No, I don't actually. What? Bruh. Bruh, what? Oh, that oh, shit. You guys can see her. Let me make myself smaller. I want my myself smaller. Here, yeah, that's better. Wow, like, you guys, like, some of you guys were here when I watched the other video about, um, stupid people in Valorant, right? And how I said they need to be more merchable. This isn't what I meant. This is not what I meant. Well, do you want to know? What Are you saying fuck? you're going to rape me? Because you're heading on the right path right now. Are you saying you're going to rape me? You're going on the right path right Is that what you're saying? Going up. It's not rape if I like it. Is it now? Thanks for the follow. Hectic out. Wow. You just mute him? Yeah, I just mute him and him. Right, like, yeah, and so anyway, what's so crazy about this to me- I, I don't understand why she just instantly left the game. Like, um, let me make myself bigger again. Um, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. Uh, just mute and report him, right? Like, obviously, you recorded it, you can still make the post. Why leave the game? I mean, okay, if you don't want to play with them, that's fair too, right? That's fair too. But... That's crazy. She closed the value from Task Manager? Yeah, it seemed like it. I think so. She was being a dick, but that's a bit of an extreme jump. She was uh, kind of um, taunting him with it. But I guess she was trying to make her uh, make him say like things that could get him banned, rightfully so, because he was leading with shit like that. Me is the fact that like the amount of people that popped off about this, people have basically ratioed her in the comments. Wait, what? And they are more supportive of the guy saying this what? than the girl. Like, read some of these. Computer, I want you to simulate a full Xbox Live multiplayer lobby for the 2009... <laughs> you know where this is going. Oh, the 2009 Call of Duty oh, video game God. Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Enable misogyny, name-calling, racism, xenophobia, sexually explicit language, and swearing. Oh, and computer, turn off all inward prohibitors. For fuck's sake. Oh my Cut god, people can't handle doing that shit talk, shouldn't be able to play true. online games. And if people are white gaming, has been ruined, fuck you. This is my cynical- Like, she didn't even report him. She- First thing so she taunted him. Like... The moment he would've said it, just mute him, report him, move on. Because he literally dropped the uh, word bomb. He would be 100% get banned. 100% get banned. But she didn't do anything of that. Like, I get it, I get it, but wanting to be in the same game. Is that like being in the same game as fucking idiots like that guy is ridiculous? But mute him, move on. She never cotton seen, farming? She isn't offended, Might never be. was offended, eggs him on. What's the rest of this? Yeah, it's crazy how people people are just like tired of this shit. Like in my opinion, I think they should ban the guy, right? I mean, 100%. like you can't threaten to rape people. That's crazy. You can That's nuts. Like you can't do that. But like it's incredible to me that so many people feel this way. Just mute and report. Yeah, yeah, exactly. no doubt. It should be a perma 100%. Yeah, but what like look it? how many people are just like fucking tired of it. It's nuts, man. 
yeah look at all like i've never seen this much pushback to a person who's like took a clip like this this comment section is also not it what's the context well, well let's read some of the comments on the actual post itself let me see if i can find it here ah oh, fuck where is it there we go she baited that response she I'm did gonna... she 100 did bait the response she did bait the response like you can see that she's baiting just I mean, up. if somebody baited a response from me, they probably wouldn't be able to get me to tell them that I would rape them. That's also fair. Also, I heard she muted him first, but I muted again to see where to go. Like, I'll be honest. It's fun to me to taunt those idiots. Like, personally, it's fun to me to taunt those idiots. Like, I'm speaking about the guy who's making... Literally retarded as jokes like that, quote unquote jokes, right? I take enjoyment out of wasting their time and making them mad by being unfazed about what they say. So to me, it's either I engage in them because it's funny to me and I'm gonna have a good laugh with my friends about it, or I just mute them. But what she did is literally just taunting him and then like threatening to boycott riot if they don't do anything about it she didn't even report him like question mark like i i, I don't understand her text there i know you hear us i know you see us if this goes unpunished i'm taking this as an act of what do you mean if this goes unpunished fucking mute him of course this is gonna get punished I've gotten so many people in Valorant Mutant and they've said less things to me. They... I've gotten people banned, not muted. I've gotten so many people in Valorant banned because they literally just said, go, uh, make, my, uh, go make me a sandwich, whore. Like, shit like that. They get, they get banned, 100%. I'm calling this out like this is so stupid. You see what I'm saying? Like... Uh, I, I that that's kind of that I mean come on man come on she baited that like how are you gonna say that anyway all of the most popular response so you rage quit a game and tattled because someone was shit talking you well LMFAO get filtered with just the, what <laughs> get filtered <laughs> oh my god what is this response why is it coming man that is crazy <laughs> Valorant is fucked something else, translate. man. You apologize to all the people who insulted during the WZ1 days? A oh, Warzone 1? Yeah. I had an incredibly strong person get off the internet. Yeah, exactly. I'm an, incre I'm an incredibly strong person. But then says she's got a rally to boycott. How are you an incredibly strong person if this shit offends me? Like, yeah, my jaw dropped when he said that, right? My jaw did drop. I wouldn't get offended by it. I wouldn't get fucking offended by it. I wouldn't rally for a boycott. Like, bro, you gotta chill. You're not strong. You're not... No. Gamers rise up. It is nuts to see how many people are just, like, tired of being told what they can and can't say. That, like... And, and I think that the problem is, like, this guy's obviously, like, a piece of shit for talking like this, right? Yes. And it's crazy that it's gotten so bad that people are actually defending this. That is crazy. I don't That's understand. what's so crazy about the whole thing. I think that you're probably going to see this become more common. Uh, I, I do. I, I think you're going to see this become way more common. <laughs> because Hi, thanks for the follow. I think that people over the last no, like five or ten years have been... Like, in general, gaming... Like the Who are the people that are playing online competitive shooter games? Young guys. Young guys are the primary audience. Yes. Like, Valorant has a lot of girls that play it, but, like, if you look at every other game put together, I would say the online shooter audience is, like, 90% young guys, young bucks, right? It is and a lot of young people. I think people. that young guys just don't want people to tell them what they can and can't say. Like, it's literally that simple. Like, that's where it begins and ends. It doesn't matter what you're saying. It doesn't matter what the reason for it is. They just don't want to be told what to do. <laughs> so, like, even if you think that you're doing it for, like, a good reason or whatever, it doesn't matter to them. Straight up, they just don't care.
Yeah. And I'm really kind of curious to see where this is going to go. Because, like, this if enough people don't care about this and actively get mad whenever there's rules against it, I wonder if companies will just start getting... This isn't going to go anywhere. Like, unless he's talking about something else. But this post especially isn't going to go anywhere. Like, the guys are going to get banned and that's going to be that. Nothing else. Like... Stupid. As a guy with a really high voice, I'm like, this kind of guy's nightmare. I love it. There's nothing scarier to these guys than catching the gay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> then the guy move on yeah that's what i mean it, it just stop getting rid of the rules because like they can't ban everybody right i mean naturally and not only can they not ban everybody i mean companies exist to make money they don't really care about any of these issues anyway uh so it really makes me curious to see what's going to happen in the future man filtering internet chat is so lame yeah and that's the way that a lot of people feel like, I feel like the solution that a lot of games are probably going to have, and this is what I think is going to happen, is that there's probably going to be two different types of lobbies. Because, like, that's the only way I could see this ever working in the long term. Because I don't think that you're ever going to be able to get guys like this this dude in here to, like, not say shit like this. Yeah, 100%. Like, you can try to ban them and, you know, like, He's oh, just we're going to get rid of them. They're just going to make another account. Exactly. He's just going to make another account. Uh, if that one gets banned, another account. These guys don't care. These guys don't care. <laughs> yeah, the fox command just times you out for 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, I had a friend. Yo, I, Doroba. I had a friend who... Who's hella toxic. Uh, he played both League and Valorant. And he's hella toxic, and he shit talks. He shit talks a lot in game, right? He shit talks people that are running it down on purpose, that are trolling and shit like that. And then he complains about him getting banned. I mean, he's the one doing the shit talking. Yeah, he might leave enough sad. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> Like, he's the one doing the chip talking, but when you try to explain it, he counters with, Yeah, but they didn't get banned! Yeah, but it's about you! It's not about them! You are being punished for your actions! Like... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Unless companies start to ban them at the IP address, uh, level, that is the only way to control stuff like- 100%! That's what I think uh, they should be doing, actually. That's- I actually think they should be doing that. Like, people that are repeat offenders, like, on the worst level, should get IP banned. Like, not if they just said something, like, once or twice, but if they keep making accounts and keep coming back and keep getting banned, they should get IP banned. They need to be taken out. They do hand out hardware bans for the worst offenders. They pull out a hardware ban for Tyler 1 for a couple of years or months. I don't remember how long it lasted. But I haven't heard about any other hardware bans. Not a single one since then. Hound, it's a free game, right? A toxic ranked or classic ranked? Well, I, I feel yeah. like toxic ranked and classic ranked are the same thing. Now. But, uh, you know, like basically, yeah, more, more casual ranked versus not. There's a difference between threats and filters. Threats should always be taken seriously. Well, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be. But what I'm saying is, like, I find this to be very interesting that somebody who's, like, basically making a rape threat. Like, I, I would say this is a rape threat. It, it is, even though it's not a serious one. Yeah. I think that, like, the seriousness of a threat should not be taken into consideration. It's like a threat just categorically is bad. And if you make something that could be interpreted as a threat, it's not a real threat. Yeah, but a fake threat isn't like that. I think that's just as bad in terms of like how the company should approach it. Like, I, I don't like this idea like, oh, well, we knew he didn't really mean it. No, it doesn't matter. Like, you shouldn't be talking like that. Yeah. It wasn't a threat. How, it's just as bad. No, I mean, how, how a threat's a threat. a threat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and anybody, by the way, would believe that this is a threat. Yeah. Anybody actually thinks this is a threat. People that are saying it's not are um what do you call it? Are are are, are lying. So if I say I'm gonna fuck your mom, uh <laughs> just someone is a threat? I mean, I don't know. I mean it depends on like what you say you're gonna do, right? But just in general, being disingenuous, yeah, I think so too. But 
I, I do think, like, obviously, like, they should ban people that are, like, aggressive and, like, hostile and shit, but... Threat is a threat, It's exactly. very interesting to me, because, like, after seeing the last <laughs> five years with, like, how many rules different answer. websites have had for, like, speech and everything, it really makes me think more about, like, how big of an impact, like, Elon Musk buying Twitter and then removing all the rules out of Twitter was. Hmm. Because I feel like this would have never happened on Twitter in, like, 2020. Because, like, now everybody is doing this shit. Everybody's saying it. And I think that all of these people were, like, suppressed for a long time. And now that they can actually speak out, I think that a lot of people are having, like, a fucking mental breakdown that there's way more of them than what they had imagined. I don't think that... Because, like, social media does a really great job at painting an inaccurate picture of the world. Because especially, like, I mean, whenever you have a bunch of rules... And, like, one type of thinking or one type of behavior is literally against the rules. Well, you're not going to see any of it. Is that because it's gone? No, it's because it's against the rules. So, hence the uh, Regarding this, uh, I wanted to uh, bring something in real quick before he moves on with the conversation to another point. Um, regarding things that people can and can't say in a chat lobby, right? For example, what Overwatch did recently, like, how long has it been now? A week? Two? Maybe three? I don't know. Well, like, this, I think this college guy got banned because he said, like, I think he said fuck. I think that was it. Which, theoretically, or, like, not even theoretically, it literally is against the rules in Overwatch to use that uh, word. To use profanity, right? But... That doesn't change the issue that that rule is stupid. Like, who doesn't say fuck nowadays? It's just, who doesn't say fuck? Who doesn't say shit? Who doesn't say... Like, some people think, like, retard is even worse than that. Like, come on. It's... And they even have a profanity filter, right? They have a profanity filter. What is... Why do you have a profanity filter if you're still gonna ban the people for using profanities? Why don't you just outright block the fucking word if you have a profanity filter and if you don't want it? Why don't you just remove it? Why don't you just fucking remove it from chat? I know you can do that. League is doing that. Like, you're... F they're literally doing it with other words. Like, they're literally doing it with other words. You guys ever typed in GG Easy? In Overwatch, it gets changed to some uh, positive message. So they literally could do it. But oh, instead they complain, instead they ban. Uh, it's so stupid. It is so stupid. Actually, yeah, it gets changed to some stupid positive mess of, uh, message if you type in GG easy. Or maybe just easy. Either or. Nowadays, more profanity is normal speech in the real world. Actually, yeah! Like, I'm using more profanity. Right? When I talk, like, I literally say fuck and retort and... I don't fucking know what else I say. <laughs> but fuck is literally in my vocabulary all the time. I wonder if breast milk is filtered on Overwatch. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Waste Marco. Welcome in. I'm so happy I've never played Overwatch now. Thanks for avoiding it. <laughs> TikTok ban? Yeah, maybe. You already have shit like this where game servers are cheaters and normal players? Yeah, exactly. There's just new generation of high schoolers. There's always degenerates. That's true. I don't think that it's all high schoolers, to be honest with you. I think that but a lot of the people... Didn't he say there's always going to be? Or it's always? Cheaters and normal players? Yeah, exactly. Oh, here. There was. It just... Oh, God damn it, man. Yeah, maybe. You already... It's just the new generation of high school, as they always be degenerates. Oh, okay. I mean, yes, the new generations of high schoolers are always going to be degenerates. Fuck is normal, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, exactly. Kitsu doesn't know how not to swear. It's in her DNA. It actually is, man. I was thinking if I used to swear at work or not. 
I don't think I saw it work. I think I could pull it back. You have shit like this where game servers are cheaters and normal players? Yeah, exactly. There's just new generation of high schoolers. There's always degenerates. I don't think that it's all high schoolers, to be honest with you. It's not I all I think that a lot of the people not... that are okay with this, people don't talk like this in public without repercussions. No, they don't. Uh, but the thing is that there's a lot of guys that play video games. Like, this is the truth. There's a lot of guys that play video games that want to be able to talk like this and act like this. That's that's just it. They want to be able to act like, like this. Like and, and they would talk like this in real life if they could. So they do, yeah. Educated server nights are out of touch with reality. Well, I think that what happens is like social media paints a very inaccurate picture of the way the world is. Because like, for example, like, like on Twitch, for example, you don't really see a lot of right wing content or right wing content creators. Like, I know people like to meme and say like, oh, what about you? Let, let's 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 be honest here. Right. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Uh, why is that? Well, it's because if you have a lot of those viewpoints, you get banned. Straight up, you get fucking banned. We so, like, do you have any, like, is this really a good, like, metric of, like, what the world is like or, like, what people are thinking whenever only one version of, like, thought is platformable? Uh, social media 100% yeah, but... doesn't represent the world. It just doesn't. Not even the entire world has access to social media. Like, think about, like, those poverty countries, man. I'm a Logan chill. I had a long day in the kitchen. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you. Enjoy your look. The funny thing is a lot of curse words are just words. Like, if you stop your toe and say fuck, it's just as bad as saying ow. Like, yeah, 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 you know? When I hurt myself, I say fuck. It's it literally it has no proper meaning. It literally just more or less lost the weenie. It's just, just like, you know, I hate English. I can't they don't articulate disappear. myself. Yeah, and also, like, what viewpoints? Um, advertisers don't want it. I, I think advertisers are a big component to it. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons for it, too. Saying gamers act this way isn't an excuse to act like an idiot. True, true, true. People give too much power to curse words, to be honest. That is also true. That is so true. If people would just be less sensitive to words, I want to say. There wouldn't be an issue. The word would lose power. The word would literally lose power. Like, Ugh. Yeah. You know, I shat myself. God damn. Let's be real. More, more words are getting, uh, Sends it. Kill is now unalive, which is fucking stupid. Come on, you don't like unaliving? You don't like unaliving people? I think it's more about the um when someone says killing myself. I think that's more bannable. So people say I got unalived, I guess. Like, you know, it's just like people trying to avoid a ban, but it's also stupid because should some of these things really be banned? If it's not even meant as serious? It's, it's... There's a thin line here, you know? This might be the Brit in me, but I'd rather someone call me a bitch than a detailed insult. The short word seems like they don't care. Long sentence? Damn, you hate me, lol. Mm. Unalived or Minecrafted, etc. Unaliving is too long, I shit myself. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. I got eliminated. I got removed. <laughs> it's okay. Just respawn. Also, if a word is bad, people will use another word in its place. That's true. That is true. And if that one is bad, another. So what? Are they going to end up banning all words? Yeah, that is also true. People will always get around the way of saying something. I don't know if you guys have seen this. In League of Legends, what some people used to do, because there were pings that said, um... You could ping your abilities, which are on Q-W-E-R, right? Um, 
people in League spelled out the N-word with the pings. <laughs> oh, League of Legends. League of Legends. <laughs> also, in League, people have gotten so quote-unquote creative where they, s they will tell people to tell on wall E over a wall. Who here has played, e uh, played League? Who knows what Talon E does? You literally, um, Talon could literally um, jump over terrain. So, yeah, <laughs> people are getting creative in ways of telling people how to unalive themselves. <laughs> creative racism, yes. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> Overwatch 2 Reaper voice lines as well. Oh my god, I've seen that! I've seen that! That is so messed up! <laughs> Plately got told to other life was saying hi to someone. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Leak! That does sound like Leak! Yes, Tommy! I think that you're misunderstanding oh, the way that people are. What gives you the idea that people need an excuse for your for their behavior? Why do you think people need an excuse for it? Because needing an excuse implies that they are accountable to you. And they're not accountable to you. You're just a nobody. So whenever people act a certain way on the internet, they don't need an excuse to act that way because they can do whatever they want. Most of the time, people don't think about their behavior. It's automatic. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't look like an idiot and not expect to clap back. No, I mean, I think they should ban this guy for sure, right? It's not even a question. 100%. But uh, I'm going to be curious to see, like, how much now, because people can actually express what they think about things, uh, how much this is going to change. I seriously think the internet is actually real life. The problem is you saying here the internet is real life. What the fuck? You're not just as bad saying what he said what? was good, but you're not looking at what this actually is. What? Um, I'm not even going to pull you up or argue with you. You're illiterate and you can't spell, and so it's just a waste of time. That is, like, literally, I'm not even what? I'm going to try to explain it or figure like, it out. What was he trying yeah, to I, say? Yeah, I don't even want to waste my time. <laughs> Actually. But yeah. Um, like, really? If I, why should I care? Yeah, exactly. Not even worth pulling South up. South Korea doesn't have this. ID is required for games. Completely got rid of this. Yeah, but, like, a lot of people don't want to have ID, which makes sense. There's a difference between free speech and hate speech. Uh, I, maybe maybe in your country there is, but over here in the U.S. there's not. Like, for example, like you can't go to jail for hate speech here in the U.S. Because, like, we have the First Amendment. But uh, in other countries, like, especially in, like, European countries, a lot of them do have laws against that. Yeah. Hmm. The guy talks big with a hidden shroud of uh, anonymity. I bet he'd cry like a little bitch if he was exposed and his job was on the line. His life was ruined for all the shit talk he spewed. Yeah, exactly. But, like, the... And, and wow. this is the problem is, like... So, and I think this is the mindset that has kind of radicalized a lot of people. Oh, he pulled someone Because, up, like, let's what go. you're saying is right. I love is it when right. he pulls people up. Uh, I bet he cracked a little bitch if he was exposed and his job was on the line, his life was ruined. What happens whenever that happens to somebody and then they decide to get back at you? Right? Like, what happens whenever, like, you know, that happens to somebody and then all those people just decide, hey, you know what? We're going to do the same thing back to you or something worse than that. What? And I think that that's kind of what's happening. Is that, like, now that people are able to, like, say, you know, what they want to say, they're able to do that. That's how you get radicals? Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, people should be held accountable for the things they say, even if it's, quote-unquote, just online. If people say shit, like, threatening because they think they're edgy to... You know, rape someone. They need to be held accountable. Because even... If it's just online. It is still bad. It is still bad because that just... He is interacting with another person online. <laughs> Who's to say that he doesn't act towards people IRL that way too. Just because he doesn't do it as a job, for example, doesn't mean like he doesn't treat people like that on an average day. 
I want to understand when people say the internet is a safe space. Like, in my experience, the only real safe space is a locked room. Yeah, I never saw the internet as a safe space either. The internet isn't a safe space. Nowhere is a safe space. My chat isn't a safe space. Like, by the way, chat! I will never claim that my chat, my stream, or my Discord is a safe space. Just so you know. I swear, I say fuck, I say retard. Ain't no safe space here. You're not getting coddled for anything. Like, I'm very accepting of people, but you're not getting coddled. Like, I don't have anything against, like, um, what is it? Like, I don't have anything against trans people. I don't have anything against, um, the LGBTQ. Are there more letters to it? I always forget. Like, uh, holy shit. LGBTQ plus is it lettered? LGBTQI? I don't fucking know. I have nothing against gay people, nothing against trans people. I have, I just hate everyone equally, right? And everyone equally is all. <laughs> it's meant to be the LGBTQIA2S plus now. Like, I can't keep up with this, right? I can't keep up. Keep up with this. I, I, I'm just a straight white woman. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I'm a straight white woman. I got nothing against the LGBTQ, um, etc. No hate. I know trans people. I know gay people. I have them as friends. But this year ain't safe space. I say retard. I say fuck. I swear. I just want to be normal. I just want to live my life. You know? I just want to live my fucking life. Straight white woman jump scare. <laughs> yeah, sorry to tell you, I'm actually not a fanboy. Shouldn't lose a job? Well, I, I don't really care. Like, I'm just saying that I think that this is a huge, huge, like, culture shift. And I, I, I feel like a lot of people aren't really taking it as seriously as they should be. Because this is, I, I think it's really, really big. And I, I, I feel like also, like, it's probably just started. Like, I see more people using, like, game rewards now on, like, different platforms. This feels the same as the people who say hanging out with minors on VR chat is okay because it's online. It fucking isn't. That's true. It really isn't. Like, we watched that video recently, right? I haven't uploaded it yet, but yeah, that shit, that shit's not okay. You're the fanboy? Then why the heck did I become your mod? So I can make you a fanboy. <laughs> Not a fanboy, then why am I here? Chat, you know exactly that I got a bigger dick than you. So shut up. You know I've got the bigger dick. And I, I, I feel like also like it's probably just started. I, I lost the plot here. We because this is, I, I think it's really, really big. And I, I, I feel like also, like, it's probably just started. Like, I see more people using, like, game rewards now on, like, different platforms. Way more than in, like, the last five years. I think it's been going up by a lot. You know, percent should lose his job? Well, I'm... I actually agree. It has been going up. It has actually been going up. I mean, whatever you think it is or not. The receipts. Like, all I'm saying is that, like, if you, if you want to punish somebody for, like, their behavior... Don't be surprised whenever enough of those people get together and then they try to punish you. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm just, I'm like, whether you think that you're in the right or not, that's 100% what's going to happen. Retard has made a big comeback. Oh, yeah, people are using all kinds of words now. Intolerance is making a comeback. Normal people don't talk or act like this. They're the minority. Well, they don't have to be the majority. If there's enough people, it doesn't really matter whether they're a minority or not. Uh, if they can, like, exercise power in a certain area and, like, suppress people, then it doesn't matter whether they're, like, an actual, like, formal m majority or not. Mm -hmm. Censoring radicalizes people? Yeah, I think that's kind of, like, what happened. That's what, like, that's what started happening, is that I think as soon as people started getting censored, uh, I disagree with you, but someone should never break the rules or TOS. He should be banned, banned for TOS. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, I, I don't think anybody thinks the guy shouldn't get banned, right? It's not even a question. But uh, I'm just saying that I feel like we're like we are witnessing right now a massive culture shift, and I think it's happening right in front of us. I think like the response to posts like this 
is like a huge indication that it's happening. It's an incel revolution. Oh, Unironically, in some cases, yeah. I'm not kidding. I, I legit think it's happening. Culture shift to what way? Hmm. To people being able to say and do whatever the fuck they want. I mean, that's true. People have been more, more complaining about getting censored in video games. About literally saying fuck and shit and that kind of stuff, which is... Which I did say, too, that those words shouldn't get censored, right? So, that he... I think he does have a point, thinking about it. I do think he does have a point. Because I think that what happened is that, like, COVID, uh, like, COVID censorship radicalized a lot of people. And after COVID censorship, then people started being so angry and, like, hyper-aggressive towards any type of suppression that then they started just fighting back against all of it. Toxicity is back, baby. Yeah, there you go. What the fuck is COVID censorship? Oh, COVID well, censorship. during COVID, a lot of people went online and obviously like, like, and, and COVID was like at the same time as like the BLM riots and everything. And at that time, there were people that expressed opinions about COVID that were like not the, uh, the standardized, like normal opinion. And then those people were deplatformed. Now, whether you think that's true or not, or accurate or, or not sorry true but fair or not doesn't really matter i think that it's very obvious that those actions massively radicalized a huge contingency of the population like a huge amount of people got hyper radicalized by that happening so i wanted to say those people did like there were a lot of people on twitter who did spread fake news about covid and as a result i think it was before before Elon bought Twitter? Might be wrong, but I think I think it was before. And Twitter literally, like firstly there were community notes and then literally they got deplatformed. I mean he did say it doesn't matter if you think it it was right or not, but hmm. I think they did kind of have a comment. They definitely did have a comment. They kind of, they definitely did have a comment. X sucks now. Yeah, I hate that it's called X instead of Twitter. When the website, like the URL is still fucking called Twitter, man. 14th April 2022 is when he bought it. Yeah, okay, so it was... Was it before after COVID then? When did COVID start, man? We lost two years of our lives to COVID, man. I don't even fucking know anymore. But yeah, it does radicalize people. That is also true. The community notes were something after Elon, right? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. And I think this is the reaction to Where's it. Where's the time? Canada bro sads. All censorship is bad. Well, I, I think that that's. I mean, nobody really believes that, right? People think that censoring like threats and like doxing is generally a, a good thing, but for the most part, and like calls to violence, generally a good thing. <laughs> but uh, you know, other than that, I think censorship is probably bad. Yeah, in, in almost all cases. Do you think people change that fast? No, I don't think they ever, I don't think they changed at all, actually. I think that it radicalized some people, but nobody changed. It just made people more of what they were. And I think that also, not, not only did it make more of people what they were, I think that, like, people being able to type anything they want on Twitter, no, nothing changed. It's just that now you get to see the other side. Like, they were always there. And that's why, like, for example, Trump won. I feel like Trump winning in 2016, and even that Trump so got, like, what, 70 still. million votes or something like that? That in is still so crazy. It's not like these people weren't there. It's just that they didn't have a voice. And now that they have a voice, well, you get to hear it. I'm not saying this guy's a Trump supporter or anything, but I'm just saying, like, collectively. Is there a difference between feeling able to say and do what you want and being immune to consequences and repercussions of said actions? I don't really think that that difference is that big, personally. Because if somebody can create consequences that ruin your life, then you effectively can't do that action. So it's kind of like, for example, North Korea... I think, like, it's time to stop separating the internet from IRL. Like, it really is time to stop separating that because the internet has become such a huge factor in your everyday life like how how long are you online how long are you connected aren't most of the people nowadays 24 7 reachable can't roll back the clock yeah you can't roll back the clock like 
you need to stop separating uh, online and IRL. Because what people do on the internet should 100% have consequences for what they do IRL too. People need to be held responsible. People think the internet is a safe space for them and they have a mask and they're anonymous and that pushes them to do atrocious things because, hey, it's just on the internet. It's not real. Nobody can see me. I'm anonymous. But you aren't anonymous. The internet is now essential even for basic bureaucratic stuff in many countries. Yeah, exactly. I'm the final generation who grew up with uh, the touchscreen phone being the first phone we had. Kids get phones at seven now, so the internet is a huge part of their life. Yeah! Yeah, 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 100%. It is. So people really need to stop separating it. People need to be held accountable for things they do say online. And people need to stop thinking that they can do whatever the fuck they want to online. Yeah, saying that people have freedom of speech, but if you speak out against them, then they kill you. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you technically do have freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want. You don't have freedom of consequences. It's just that then you go to jail or you're dead. So I, I, I feel like freedom of speech is fundamentally freedom of consequences, at least from the government. So like, yeah, that's I, I disagree with that. When have you ever had the freedom to make threats like that? Um, uh, Probably never. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think I think not. Yeah. People are, uh, acting like people are radical for not wanting censorship is wild. I do think that it is radical to think that the girl is in the wrong whenever she thinks that somebody who is making, like, insinuating rape threats at her should get banned. Like, I, I, I do, I think that is radical. That's crazy radical. I mean, I, I'm not, I, like, yeah. I feel like I am a very reasonable person. Yes. I am an extremely reasonable person. But the video just ends like that? Ain't no fucking way. The video literally just ended like that. <laughs> it felt like it ended mid sentence. He must have hot topic shifted after that. Yeah, he must have. He must have. No, he is reasonable, and he is also right, like... The girl, this woman, this female, she is on the right for wanting the guy banned. Because that guy should not be able to say things like that. It's not okay. It is not okay to say things like that. Getting censored is an entirely different issue. Like... <laughs> It's two separate issues. Saying she's asking her if she knows what it feels like or if she wants to know what it feels like compared to getting the word fuck censored. That's completely two different issues here, guys. I don't think that people can't separate them as ridiculous. God. As one is very reasonable. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Everybody knows it. <laughs> She's right to get him banned, but making moment to ban all even for a joke is a bad idea. What do you mean, but making a moment to ban all even for a joke is a bad idea? I mean... Getting the word rape banned would be a good thing, in my opinion. And I don't think it's a censorship. I don't think the word rape belongs in a video game, in a normal conversation in a video game. It's all or nothing for some people. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. It really, like, it's not just black and white. Topics are not just black and white, uh, black and white, right? It's, n it's not just one or the other. It's free speech till your free speech is insinuating a crime. That shit does not fall under free speech. The word rape is already banned in Vela. What uh, JC means is she's clearly pushing to make rules even stricter. I mean, how would you even make the rules stricter there? I, I'm, I'm not gonna allow that because we, we're keeping that word banned, right? We, we're keeping this word banned here too. But what would you even do to make this stricter? 
Hey, where exactly is, is the tweet again? Hey, let's find it. Hey, what, what does it say? Until hardware bans go into- Uh, the suspension are not enough. Nothing will ever stop these men from acting this way until hardware bans go into play. They should never be able to play the game again. I mean, that's what I was talking about earlier as well, right? They'll just say grape or something, no. That's also true, but... On one hand, she is really pushing it. On one hand, she is really pushing it. On the other hand, there do need to be hardware bans. For um, repeat offenders, there do need to be hardware bans. Like, if there's someone constantly joking about wanting to rape someone... Wanting to rape... Oh woman specifically in this case there do need to be consequences to that i'd say the last paragraph is where i'm against her yeah 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 same that's exactly it why did i join in on the word rape <laughs> and more especially why can you say the word i guess because you're uh, a mod uh, because we just watched a video about it, about... Here, Potato, it's, uh, I'll play the clip for you. I'll play the clip. You are literally just... Here, it's Women Valorant. Or a minorities playing this game, and I... Yeah, you are literally Here, just... Potato. Oh, be honest with me. Do you know what rape feels like? Plague? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Well, do you want to know? Are you saying you're going to rape me? Because you're heading on the right path right now. Are you saying you're going to rape me? You're going on the right path for Is that what you're saying? Going up. It's not rape if I like it. Yeah. Who's it now? That, that's the clip. That's the clip we were talking about. <laughs> that's what we were talking about. That's where this all started. I also think it's time to use the cool in Valorant. The what now? Lose the cool? What? Huh? What? What? Lock him up right now, bruh. Bottom liners both are in the wrong and need to face consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, right, potato. So then her treat is. Let's go back. Her treat is. Sherlock, you need to get off the keyboard. The suspension are not enough. Nothing will ever stop these men from acting this way until hardware bans go into play. They should never be able to play this uh, the game again. I know you hear us. I know you see us. If this goes unpunished, I am taking this as an active act from you that you do not give a single fuck about any of the women and minorities that play your game. And I will really, uh, I will rally to boycott. This is just absolute. This is just absolutely not on. The bottom paragraph is where she's going over the line. Wanna pick the react? Uh, that's, oh yeah, I, I'll check it up. Did she report him? She didn't. She just quit the game. It looked like she just quit the game. Like, I think you can report from match histories. I think you can report from match histories in Valorant, but I don't know if the game is gonna stay there if she left. I think it is. Maybe she went in and reported it afterwards. Maybe. I hope she did. But she didn't mute him. She engaged in, in it. She engaged in it to farm on it. She engaged in it to farm this. I hope Red doesn't overreact. <laughs> Valorant well, acts fast when it comes to reporting. They really do. They really, really do. I do agree. Uh, I said earlier, yeah, I've gotten so many people on Valorant banned. She added Riot and the support on the tweet. Mm. Like, I haven't seen anyone get reported mid- uh, Not reported, anyone- I haven't seen anyone get banned mid-game yet. But- after a game, pretty fucking quickly. She could have just submitted the support ticket, works for me. I hope she reported them after the game, but this rallying to boycott and saying that she would see this as an active act, that they don't give a single fuck about women and minorities? 
The play you game? What are you what are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, man? I mean, I think the only wrong thing is she did leave instead of muting him, but I can't blame her if it was some trauma response or something. Oh, the top part uh, uh, says she's very strong regarding that stuff. The top part says, um, where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have never made a more desperate plea that, oh, what I am about to say right now, right, Gamerside Spot, I need you guys to fucking do something. I'm an incredible strong person, and I've been streaming for a very, very long time, but absolutely nothing prepares you for someone saying this to you. I mean, I have no idea if it was a trauma response or not. I, I can't blame her for leaving the game. I can't blame her for not muting him. The end, the, the end of the street is just too much. The end of the street is just too much. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to say this, especially with how strict Riot has been with their bands. Riot has been extremely strict. Kids over here, you guys have never left the game, don't worry. What? <laughs> what? I think it's over the top from her, but he deserves a ban. She doesn't. He does deserve the ban there. I also had a stroke reading this. <laughs> he does deserve the ban. I don't think she deserves a ban for leaving a game where someone made her uncomfortable. She's absolutely in our right to do so, I would say. She's absolutely in our right to leave the game if that made her feel uncomfortable. And then to claim that she uh, it has a strong response and is an incredibly strong person is ridiculous. No, of course. She doesn't deserve a bad. No, no. Her take is just stupid. Her last take is very stupid. She should... Yeah, she should be... She should be muting them. She should have muted them. Instead of engaging in the conversation, she should have been muting them. This is what... This is what Riot <laughs> would say. This is what Riot 100% would say. She didn't mute him. <laughs> Letting your teammates down is not cool. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. That's always true. It definitely deserves a poma, but she went too far with the last paragraph. She did. She did. Like saying she's gonna rally to boycott for what? Right? It is so punishing. Right? Is so freaking punishing in their um, punishments. <laughs> I just mainly get that at one point it feels very shitty to play with one person, even if they aren't speaking to you. That's true. That is true. I want Riot to punish me. Oh. Oh. I want Sukuna to punish me.